Wow. What'd you say? You said save? Yeah. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Very good. All the good from all the bad. <laughs> what are your memories of that song? I really hate that song. <laughs> okay. I really hate it. I, I, it's like it was like it was like one of the first songs I had written ever. And when we go when we were recording the Invisible Band, we were like, "Shit, we need another song." And I I just I played that, and and then we we recorded it, and I was like, I, "It was that always." It's one of these songs that I'm like, "Shit." I wish I wish we'd never recorded that. It was just it's just got I don't know. It's nice. It's got a nice melody and it's got a nice sort of something about it. But uh, yeah, it was one of those ones that I just thought maybe we should have just done a nine track or a eleven track record instead of a twelve track record. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's another, it's really interesting you picked two of my earliest songs. She's So Strange is on the Man Who, it's, uh, it, again, was another one of those songs that we needed another track, and and that was, like, the last track we had, and, and um, so we, we recorded it, and it turned out, actually, really, really well, and on the, so when we cut that record, we were cutting it uh, in Abbey Road with Nigel and um, and the cutting engineer there. And uh, there's an extra verse on that song that we that we that we left on the mastering floor on the cutting room floor. So the, it's it's um it ended up being better than than it was before because it was just one verse too long and the way that uh, the way that it ended up actually served the song way better um, but it's a really early song that song was, was one of the earliest songs that I I remember writing uh, but unlike 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 Dave I actually like that song a lot One Night correct yes yeah that I, that was um, that's on the, the Boy With No Name that was recorded because usually all of our songs are recorded in studios, and that song was recorded in my on the house I lived in in in, in London, um, and uh, yeah, it's, it, again not my favourite song. You're picking all these songs that I, that I hate. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, it's weird, you know. Like some songs have bad memories attached to them, and that one was annoying to me because we, we recorded in the house and it sounded quite good and then we had it mixed and the mix was shit and then we had to get another guy to mix it and then I had to tell one mixer that we weren't going to use his mix and he got really sad about it and kind of a little bit upset about it and um, so it, it just left a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> I just wanted to listen listen to that one. That's um, 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 it's on the solo record recorder. Yep. Ah, I love that song, and I, I, you know, it's weird. I I can sing it to you, um, uh, but I can't remember the I can't remember the title for the life of me. Shadow boxing. Let me think. Hold on. Hold that. Yeah, yeah I, I know you've told me the title. Of oh, okay. I didn't know if you. I didn't know if you were done guessing. Sorry. Yeah, I gave it to you. No, no, no. I wasn't. I wasn't. No, but um, yeah, that's uh, that. Uh, that was um, again like the the last song I wrote for that record. All of these songs, interestingly, all of the songs you picked are the last songs that were put on records hmm. so far. Definitely. That's indefinitely. That is not. Oh no, it's not. It's falling down. It's falling down. Sorry, it's falling down. Correct. Pardon me. I I, I just I got I get those two songs. They're like interchangeable in my memory. <laughs> and again, again, that was um, one of the last songs we recorded for Good Feeling. So it's like five for five of the last songs we wrote on album. And <laughs> I remember, I, but the, that song was written before. You know, way 
day before the, the album was recorded. I remember that very, very well because we were in Bearsville with Steve Lily White and we had tried to record Writing to Reach You. And this is on our first album. We'd already written Writing to Reach You, but we couldn't play it because we just weren't good enough to play it by that, at that point, even though it was written. Um, Dougie was still a couple of years away from getting the bass line down mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in, in a comfortable way. So um, I um, so we went on, Steve, Steve said, did we get any other songs you want to try? And, um, and we, we did that, and we were all totally... Um, it was like maybe about two in the morning, and um, everyone was a little bit tired and not really thinking about it and that's like one of, it's I think one of the the better recordings on that record um, and it almost sort of preceded it sort of echoed a sound that we were about to sort of move towards